It has begun. I did hit the button. And we're live. And we're live. Welcome back, you inglorious bastards. And magnificent measures. It is I, Doc Camo. And Ken Santos here. And we're back for another test of the emergency podcast, podcast system. system. And everything's working this time. We got it up and running. Yep. You know, we just we like to take our time, test things out, see if it'll explode. Haven't lucked out yet, but we're trying very hard. Unlike Colonial Pipeline, though, they're not working. No, no, they got <laughs> shot the fuck down. Eastern Seaboard, fuck are you <laughs> winning? No. Oh, uh, yeah, like they need to like update their studio, like we're doing, like update their modern their technology to like don't don't isn't it a pipeline? Can't you like go out and like there's like a yeah, little circle you, thing and like to, haven't you learned that everything shouldn't be automated? <laughs> it's, it's like 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 I'm pretty sure the little like circle yeah. hatch thing is like fucking decade yeah. old technology. And, like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. <laughs> If at some point somebody was stupid enough to come to the conclusion that all of these gates should be fitted without such, you know, safety mechanisms as there probably should be, realistically, I would think regulations make sense. I mean, you, winning? No, you, you suck. This should be a manual something, especially since this is critical fucking infrastructure. Yeah, you know, this is important. People need that pretty bad, <laughs> and it's like. The control mechanisms apparently weren't shut down. Colonial said said that uh, it was just like an outer piece of technology, like an outer computer system, and yeah. they shut everything down to like so it wouldn't spread and they could isolate it or whatever. But it's just like, why don't you have a contingency plan? How can you not have a, a contingency plan with a hundred year old technology? Of course they did. They were using buckets. <laughs> I'm just. How do you not have a little hatch thing? Like, I, I, that's just beyond yeah. me. But the, so, like the the what really gets me about this whole fucking thing is like the 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 Eastern European hackers and they came forward and they apologized. That's <laughs> awesome, though. Like, yeah, we wanted to fuck them, not these people. Yeah, they they wanted to like ransom money from like the the colonial oil barren things they didn't realize that they were gonna like shut down gasoline to the east and see winning no you <laughs> suck not for nothing though they would have got their money <laughs> <laughs> the end of the day like hey i shut down the, the east and see but uh yeah this much money today and i'll put it back in five minutes i'll wait for your call winning. <laughs> uh no that is like the the thing is like hello we are dark side and we are sorry and now the fbi is like Kano wins because now they Lawrence. know who you are and they're coming. <laughs> you shut down critical infrastructure. Like, they're coming. They already said they're coming. Like, yeah, the, the big green weenie of Uncle Sam is coming to smack you in the face because, yeah. like, that's like. <laughs> that sucks. You suck. It's Eastern European. They're, like, they're trying to blame Russia. But anything Eastern European is usually always Russia to the Democrats. Yeah, they don't know the difference. <laughs> There's, there's like hundreds what is of Eastern geography? European, there's like hundreds of Eastern European countries, yeah. and Russia's more of a like <laughs> your uh, Asian country or whatever. Yeah. I don't know, but I uh, said so, so. Like the pipeline might be back up in like a couple of days, hopefully, and it won't be so bad. Yep. But 17 states have declared a state of emergency, <laughs> and I'm not sure which ones those are. We gotta Google this right right now. I need to know. I need to know how many states feel that they are in state of emergency. Like we haven't already been in a state of emergency based off of everybody's thoughts. But this one seems like apparently depending where you are, maybe it is hitting you a little bit harder. Oh, also, um we're on the full podcast is on Instagram. I found out I can upload larger videos from my computer. <laughs> Winning, dooby doo, Virginia. It's, yeah, it's basically all of New England and all of like the Eastern Seaboard. Uh, I, I haven't seen from, from well, actually. No, this like, goes from Texas right? all the way up to Jersey. Yeah, like we might be just outside the cusp of giving a fuck. Probably, <laughs> probably a week out, <laughs> and then we'll give a fuck. But it's like, uh, and we're funded through the summer. Like the the, it's just like so the gas shortage wouldn't happen until later on down the road. But inflation's coming. The gas prices are going to rise, and if gas prices rise on the eastern seaboard, which is the main majority of the U.S. population, they're going to go up everywhere. We're going to experience hyperinflation. 
winning. No. The whole system's crashing. You suck. Fun, fun, fun.